Hello everyone, in today's video we visit a baseball field that was created in the middle of a cornfield all because someone heard a voice. That's right, today we're visiting the movie site of the iconic movie Field of Dreams. In fact, I'm sitting in the bleachers that were used during the filming of that movie. Stick around, this might be pretty cool. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Right now, you're riding with David and me as we're crossing the Mississippi River, leaving Illinois, about to enter the great state of Iowa. We're traveling to the Field of Dreams movie site, located just outside of Dyersville, Iowa. We've been on the bikes for a couple of days now, and it's been about a thousand mile ride. But we'll have you at this famous, and from what I hear, magical baseball field shortly. But first, let me show you just a few more miles of some beautiful, peaceful scenery of Iowa. After a good night's rest the next morning, we made a few turns, and then we saw in a distance what anyone who has seen the movie would quickly recognize. Wow, there it is, the place where I believe the perfect movie was filmed, The Field of Dreams. As we rumbled down the gravel driveway, it's impossible not to feel both nostalgia as well as anticipation. A quick check in with the staff where we'll make our $20 donation. We're asking for a $20 suggested donation. It goes for the hey, you Where are you guys from? Atlanta. From Georgia? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We're just passing through. We're on the way to Sioux City, but uh, we said we'd never come to Iowa again without stopping by here. Oh, there so. You go. <laughs> so, a little tip if you go to the bleacher facing the house, Kevin's got the carving that he carved to his wife Andy in between scenes. You'll kind of see that the very top, leaf, yes, the far yeah. right hand side. Um, if you guys would like, you could do a house tour. Yeah, we would. So we plan on a little bit to okay. do that. Now yeah. they do feed for that. I don't know if yeah. you've ever been military. What you want to do is see the guy walking up there mm -hmm. in each uniform. I would get up there right, go park and get up there right now, and then you can do the tour with him. Okay. Nine o'clock. Otherwise, you're gonna have to wait till ten. I think I think we want to get to the field first. That's oh, really what we. Field. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll see the house yeah. later. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know about you, but that looks just like it did back in the movie. After parking the bikes, we were finally at the Field of Dreams. It was here in 1989 where a mysterious voice in the Iowa sky spoke the words that would take its place in movie history, becoming a classic in America cinema. If you build it, he will come. The funny thing is, the film really isn't even about baseball. No one stares down a fastball or hits a big home run. But it's a story of dreams, a family, and reconciliation. And probably, in my opinion, has one of the greatest closing shots in movie history. People simply come, and they're still coming just as we have. There's no ghost to see, no game to watch, but you can have a quiet moment of reflection or play some catch as many do. The bleachers where several significant parts of the movie was filmed still here. And we took our seat in those bleachers and reminisced about other scenes from this blockbuster movie that has such a profound effect on the both of us.
Now right here is where old, old boy crossed that line, uh, Moonlight Ground. Was it on the baseline? Yeah, I think it was, because I, I thought it was a white line with me. I thought it was a gravel line. line. I don't think it was this, I think it was that. See, but I could, it was like a row of gravel, is what I remember. Now, we, can, we can watch it again. Hey David, check this out. This is where it said Kevin Costner inscribed Ray loves Annie in between scenes. Time to take the field, as so many do who travel here. But hey, we haven't thrown a ball in over a decade. After playing catch for a while, it's time to take in some pot flies. Out toward left field, where Shoeless Joe Jackson played. And then David wanted to run the bases. So he took off in a cloud of dust, with fans cheering in the stands. He has a single, but I believe he's going for a double. Oh my goodness, an error in the outfield. Has him going for third, and I believe he has his sights set on home. Yeah! And here he comes. He scores at the Field of Dreams. Yeah! Good job, man. Good job. Yeah. How's it feel? Feels like magic. Man. I'm going to tell you, luckily, you look a little ghostly out there running. Looks magically, man. <laughs> Now here's something I haven't done since high school. Pitch from a mound that's 60 feet away. But when you're at the Field of Dreams, you just gotta do it. And hey, Whoa. I may even throw a strike. One more. One more, see if you catch this curve. No, that was my drop ball. And as occurred several times throughout the day, we met total strangers who had come to the field alone and asked if we would play some catch with them since we had balls and gloves. Like Steve, who made the trip from Michigan. And of course, we obliged each and every one who asked. For we knew the significance of having a catch on this field on what many would call almost holy ground. In fact, Steve and I are playing catch where the touching final scene took place between Ray Casella, played by Kevin Costner, and his ghost father. And later, more catch with David. And man, 90 feet never looks so far plate. away. Do the dreams so we can throw him out at first. It's been a while since I've been on a real baseball field. It's like a long way. Catch your bobbles the ball on third strike. And after all that, it was time to hydrate. And you can do that at the stretch concession stand located on the third baseline. They sell water and you can grab a snack. And the staff inside, as were all the staff here, very welcoming, helpful, and pleasant. Next, we visited the Field of Dreams gift shop. And the entrance, well, it reminds you of the message from that famous voice. Inside the store consists of clothing, hats, and other baseball memorabilia, and a large standing poster of that unforgettable, moving speech by James Earl Jones, who played Terrence Mann. I did a little shopping myself, grabbing a souvenir for Clay, 
and later we turned our attention to the farmhouse. Built in 1906, and prior to being sold to an investment group a few years back, it had been in the family for four generations. It sits on 200 acres of farmland, and we simply loved it. We walked all around it. I mean, every side of it. We strolled on its porch, sat in its swing, and was even joined by a ghost player, who was also our tour guide, who educated us on even more about this area and this movie site. And then, time to take the tour on the inside. In order to protect the floor, you had to put these footies over your shoes, or you can choose to take the tour in your socks. Craig did a great job sharing the history of this farmhouse, as well as insider movie secrets, including pivotal scenes in the movie, like the one when Ray Kinsella was told by his daughter that a strange man was on the field. Again, played by Kevin Costner, he walked from the table past the stairs and this bookshelf to the window where he first saw shoeless Joe Jackson standing on the field. The tour takes about 30 minutes. And if you make it out here, I would encourage you to take it. The fee starts around $20, but it varies for seniors, military, and children. I'll put a link in the description down below with all the info. Man, what is it about a movie that was released more than three decades ago where over 100,000 people around the globe still come to visit the location where it was filmed? I mean, it's just a simple baseball field cut in the middle of a cornfield. Now, no turnstiles, no dugouts, no tickets or programs or ushers. It has a simple backstop and two wooden sets of bleachers. Well, I can't answer that as to why we come here. Everyone has their own reason, I guess. I can tell you that David and I have enjoyed our visit immensely and hope to return when the corn is high and where once again, we'll ask that simple question. Man, is this heaven? <laughs> no, man, it's our one. We hope you enjoyed this video half as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. It's been a great, fun-filled day here at the Field of Dreams. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Shots Until next time, me on the bases, be well and stay and safe. Plate, got that. Uh, Moonlight Graham crossover. Uh, shots of us on the porch from behind. He's done that. On the swing, drone shots, and got that. All right, now. Ha, ha, ha.